So some people have actually complained that the BAUS update function doesn't work correctly on these latest dark and classified motherboards from EVGA. For some reason, all of these motherboard generations, they have been very picky on the USB stick you wish to use in the BAUS update or the BAUS flashback port that's present on the motherboard's PCB. For some reason, they are very picky, especially with the newer like USB 3.0 USB sticks that are relatively large. I had the best success with some of the older like USB 2.0 sticks and I was lucky and I found out that this particular uh, USB stick from Transcend worked just fine. So I managed to uh, update the BAUS of my Z690 Dark Kimpin as well as my SR3 Dark by using this very particular USB stick you see in front of the camera right now. So the actual model of this particular uh, USB stick is Transcend Jet Flash 360 16 gigabyte USB uh, stick. I'm pretty sure I got the uh, number version correctly after the word jet flash but it should be 360 based on the images I found on Google. You can recognize it from this uh, like colored part at this part of the USB stick. It actually comes in in a variety of different colors. Sometimes it's red, sometimes it's green, sometimes it's blue or yellow, but you get the idea anyways. I'm actually quite sure you can still find this particular uh, USB key model from your local like PC stores or even from your local hardware stores. These are just very basic USB sticks in the end anyways. They are still relatively cheap, but this should be a USB 2.0 stick. So I, for some reason I had the best success with this older generation of USB sticks. The actual process is actually uh, very simple. The only thing you have to do is you have to format the USB stick to FAT32 uh, format. You have to place the BAUS file at the root of the USB stick you, you wish to flash on your motherboard and the BAUS file has to be named correctly according to the actual model number of your motherboard. So for example if you are trying to flash a Z690 Dark Kimpin, so for example if you uh, find a Z690 Dark Kimpin from the second hand market uh, nearby and you want to use a 1300K CPU straight away and the motherboard doesn't have a new enough BAUS already flashed on the motherboard, you have to perform the BAUS update function before you can actually use the whole setup. So uh, in that case, you would have to name the BAUS file as EVGA E699.bin without any spaces in between. So just everything in one single line. So EVGA E699.bin. The actual model number of the Z690 Dark Kimpin is E699. That's where the uh, model number or the number actually comes from. So uh, now I'm going to be trying to recover my Z790 Dark Kimpin. It has the first BAUS chip in a failed state. So for some reason the BAUS update function failed like partially when I tried to uh, flash a beta BAUS in mid-December which I got from the EVGA BAUS team, it actually failed like partially. Now when I try to turn it on with any CPU, it just crashes at the end part of the post process. So it just shuts down and it starts all over again. So I will try to recover that first BAUS switch position with this USB stick once again. So I have the latest beta BAUS that's available at EVGA Downloads website, which is called 1.11. It has the newest microcode available already integrated in the BAUS, which is the version 1.12. So I will be trying that new microcode with my best 1300K CPU on LN2 very briefly. So yeah, so that's pretty much it. So uh, just follow these steps. If you have some issues, with this whole function, try to find this particular uh, USB stick model or a similar one. Some people even tried the tiny USB stick EVGA has been providing with the latest generations of motherboards, the very tiny one that contains all of the important drivers for these newest motherboards, and it actually failed based on the reports I got from those users who actually tried it. So uh, as far as I know, it doesn't work. So you are better off by finding an old USB 2.0 stick like this. But yeah, so uh, now I'll just install the USB stick on the motherboard and let's see what happens when I press the BAUS update button at the rear I.O. 
Okay, so now the USB stick is installed in the BAUS update port near the BAUS switch over there. The BAUS switch is in the first position, as I already mentioned, and the uh, BAUS update uh, button is actually on the rear I.O. on these last two generations, so it's the lower button over here. Previously, you actually had to press the uh, reset button for a few seconds to start the BAUS update process, but now they actually have a dedicated button for that whole thing. So let's see what happens. So I will just press this and it starts. It should start if it works. If it fails, it usually just gives a like E1 or E4 debug code straight away. Yeah, this is a good sign. So it actually turned on and now it's actually doing the whole process. So I'll just let this to finish and we should be good to go. But if it doesn't work, it doesn't even uh, turn on. So that's already a very good indication that it's not working. Now this process actually takes quite a while. So don't get confused if it keeps uh, blinking the uh, zero marking over there at the debug LED for some time. So I think this process can actually take up to like five minutes or so. But it's very easy once you find a USB stick that actually works just fine. So now we should be posting. It might do one more shutdown, but we should be uh, posting successfully. And we should have the BAUS 1.11 successfully flashed.